Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and today I'm looking at the Eco Discovery S Concert from Breedlove Guitars. The Eco Collection features woods that have been sustainably harvested without the use of clear felling techniques and it uses a three layer laminate construction for the back and sides that makes use of African mahogany instead of a softwood inner layer. This model also features a solid African mahogany top and an African mahogany neck with an Ovankow fingerboard with a 25.3 inch scale length and a 1.69 inch nut width. Finished in a gloss finish, a Fishman Presus 1 pickup is included and the guitar has an RRP of £629. So let's have another listen to the guitar now and then please join me afterwards for my thoughts. I've often thought that Breedlove do a good job of combining modern and traditional design features in their guitars, and this model is no exception. The headstock and sleek body shape give a modern and fresh look, and the choice of simple purfling, a muted tortoiseshell rosette, and edge burst finish maintain tradition. It's a nice looking guitar. The guitar is very neatly put together, although I'm intrigued by the thought process behind the fretting. Not only are there lines of filler running along the fretboard, suggesting that the fret slots have been cut quite deep before being filled in, but also the edges of the frets are significantly beveled, meaning the strings do run the risk of slipping off the edge of the fingerboard in a few places. The concert body size is very comfortable and the neck, although slim, has a nice carve that fits invitingly in the hand and despite my concerns about the fretwork, the guitar plays very well with an action that is just on the high side of low from the factory. In my experience, hardwood topped guitars can tend to be prominent in the mids, and this instrument is no exception. There's certainly a bit of rumble going on in the low end, and the trebles have a good snappy quality to them, but a husky mids is where a lot of the character of this instrument lies. Unlike some other mahogany topped guitars I've played, it doesn't get honky, and also the sustain is pretty impressive too. Strumming benefits from the natural compression that the hardwood top offers, and finger picking pops with a harder attack, although softer playing was a little disappointing. Through a compact acoustic amplifier, I was impressed with the sound from the pickup. Yes, it's a bit heavy in the mid range, but this was easily rectified either by using the onboard contour switch or from external EQ. 
At £629, I believe this guitar to be about right in terms of price. Although there are some all solid wood options out there at this price point, I don't think this guitar suffers too much from the layered back and sides. It still has a punchy resonant tone with good sustain. I have to say I'm not 100% convinced of the eco status of this guitar. Fair play to Breedlove for sourcing their wood responsibly, but there's so many other factors that go into creating a sustainable product. The finish, the country of manufacture, the shipping, etc, etc. Now I'm not really sure that any guitar brand could claim to be fully eco at the moment. Regardless of that though, the Eco Discovery Concert is an impressive little guitar that manages to mix modern and traditional design motifs with comfortable playability and a good, albeit mid-range focused tone, and it does it all at a very sensible price point too. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be kept up to date when we post new videos, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.